Ten years after pulling out of Kenwood, Barnes & Noble is back. In fact, the Kenwood location is one of ten new locations to open recently. Leaders with Barnes & Noble say their company is rising, taking the neighborhood in which it's located along with it. We are successful again, and I think looking at certain spaces where we had to vacate because of le lost leases or because of the, the, the state of the business, um, those, those places where we were really successful are, are just uh, places we should look to go back to. Things are looking up at Barnes & Noble, which once was strapped by declining sales. It has opened more than 30 new locations in the past year, including this one at the Kenwood Collection. Um, it is a, a very safe space. Um, it is available to everybody, every, um, every person, every type of person, walk of life. We're there to create that sense of community and that sense of gathering so that you can come to a bookstore and be around other people. You can have great conversations. She says bookstores benefit the surrounding community because they encourage us to gather. Reading opens up people's minds. It opens you to so many things that you may not have seen, depending on what your background is and where you've come from. So I think it's that 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 you can go into the bookstore and be any of those things. And even though many of us read books digitally, she says having an actual book in your hand changes the experience. Talk to the book community and the people who love books. Um, it's the touch and the feel. It's the discovery. It's being able to open a book and take the notes in a book and to write things, to, to mark off specific paragraphs, to take that physical book and share it with somebody and give it to somebody and just have that experience. It's an emotional experience overall in, in that way. Now, this new location is the fourth Barnes & Noble in our area, joining stores in Florence, Westchester, and Mason.